Alright, do you want to learn how to install Frick, but like, easily? Okay, Frick is the Fallout 4 mod that gives you a full body, so like you have hands and stuff. Um, it definitely improves the game, but uh, here's how to install it easily, because the only other tutorial on how to do it kind of is too fast and complicated, so I'm going to show you the easy way. Um... The steps are simple, so just don't get lost in it. Starting now, just do what I do. First, search up nexusmods.com on Google, and then uh, register for an account. It will be up here. Just click on register and put in all the info, and then you'll have an account. Uh, I have the free plan, and I do not intend on upgrading. Anyways, after you have an account, search up vortex and install that there's vortex top one just click manual and scroll down and click manual download and then click slow download three two one boom yep and I'll just tell you when that's done my for vortex finished installing so now we're just going to minimize this nexus mods tab and open up the new shortcut it gave us boom here is nexus mods just full screen this and go into games and then search for fallout 4 vr and then you'll have it right here Make sure it's downloaded on your C drive, and you'll be good. Anyways, boom, we have Fallout 4 VR right there. We're just going to um, go. You'll see there's zero active mods, but uh, we're going to activate some mods, so Frick works. Anyways, next step is to actually go back into Nexus Mods and search up the... FRIK mod full body mod for Fallout 4 uh, I'm just gonna click on it oh shoot what I do oh my god I'm trying to make this not confusing okay boom anyways we're at Frick we're just gonna click download with vortex right and then it will bring up this additional files required we need to download these two files before we can actually do the main download. Anyways, this is still very simple too. First of all, click the first link, the Fallout uh, 4 VR tools. It will take you to Nexus again, and then just click download with Vortex. And slow download. Then you'll see on Vortex, our download will pop up. And boom, we have the Fallout 4 VR tools installed. And we have one mo active mod under Fallout 4 VR. So let's minimize that again. X out of that. Okay, now we're back here. We have Fallout 4 VR tools installed. Now we just need this F4SE VR. So click on it. This is where I got scared. I was like, what is this? How does this work? Anyways, it's not actually as bad as you might think. Just go, click on this one right here, the 7Z archive, next to the Fallout 4 VR runtime. Then just click on it, and you'll see this little uh, stack of books at the bottom. We're just going to place this on the right side, and then have Vortex open on the left side. On Vortex, click on Mods, and then we just need to go... Uh, drag and drop so just hold left click on the little bookcases and drop them into this drop files area and then it will install it up here boom we did it now we have two mods installed um, and those two mods are these two right here the Fallout 4 VR tools and F4SE now 
we have the additional mods installed so we can do the main frick download so let's click on it click on slow download and then put this in full screen our actual frick mod is installing right now and boom it got deployed now we have three active mods and those three are the uh, the Fallout 4 VR tools and the Fallout 4 script extender those were the two files we had to install before we could do the actual frick and of course we have the frick bo full body mod so once you have these three here like this um, just put on your VR headset or whatever and go while you have it on your head ready to play any game go into Steam uh, click on library get to Fallout 4 VR then go uh, under manage and click browse local files it will bring up your local files right here and the new way you're going to open the game is by right clicking this F4 SE VR loader and just clicking open and then that will actually get you into the game um, I wish you could pin this to the start but it just doesn't work like that you can't just pin it to the start because it says there's like an error so you have to go into the files and click on this thing every time but it's really not that bad anyways now now that you know how to start it let's get some gameplay of this thing okay so we're back here we're just gonna click on this right double click click open boom now our VR will start loading you into a game in a few yep yeah, now I'm loading into a game in the VR headset you should uh, see should see it any time any second now boom we're in hold up where's my mouse there it is there we go and then put the mouse at the bottom boom we can play alright I've only played an hour and 42 minutes of this game so far because I've been trying to um, you know, do the tutorial and stuff anyways we are in and in no time we will load into the actual game and I'll show you what the actual game is like alright we are in let's see boom you can even two hand weapons uh... the two handing isn't perfect but it works well enough yep alright and then we have shadows you can see the stuff you wear so give me a second like here's my 10 millimeter pistol right here go in slow motion you have the shells, right? And you have finger gestures. So <laughs> probably thumbnail right here. Yeah, that was thumbnail worthy. Anyways, yeah, and then you can just play the whole game like this. Your your body actually shows you what you're wearing, so Oh crap, I clicked the wrong button. <laughs> um, let me go into the Pip Boy and go to apparel and just put on a dress, right? I have a dress on in the game now. Um, of course, I'm not going to actually wear that, right? Uh, yeah, but if I put the Vault 111 jumpsuit on, I'll have it on. Like, 
it's pretty cool. And then, you know, you have all your weapons. They all work as you'd think they would, like, all of that works as normal. Um, yeah, you can just play the whole game like this. Gone. Dang. This guy is not very nice to the mole rats, it seems. What is that? What the heck? Oh, something, something. I think that was pretty good. Oh yeah, that was the one. Oh, I'd actually love to do that with the double. Why is there so many more rats? Haha, uh, you did backflip. Oh my god. I guess there's just infinite mole rats here. Oh. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Got to shoot some mole rats. And yeah, I'm just kind of left to play Fallout 4 in VR. I'm out of here.